Factoring the GCF. How do I factor out a greatest common factor? Well, first, if possible, rewrite the expression in descending order. Second, find the GCF for the constants and factor this number out. If the first term is negative, factor out the negative. That often saves us a lot of trouble. Third, for variables that are common to all terms, pull out the smallest powers, smallest powers of those variables. And your answer will be of the form GCF and in parentheses whatever we have left over once we divide by that GCF. All right, example one, factor out the greatest common factor and write the entire answer. First, we need to recognize that the greatest common factor of these two expressions is five. They don't have variables in common, and five is the largest number that divides into both of those. So I'm going to write this as being equal to five. Then I'm going to, this is what I'm thinking, I want to divide each of these by five. That's not part of my answer. I'm dividing these by five. So five x divided by five is x, and 15 divided by five is three, so my Answer is five parentheses x plus three close parentheses. For part b, factor out the greatest common factor and write the entire answer for seven a squared minus fourteen a cubed plus twenty one a to the fourth. Now first we want to write this in standard form. So this will be twenty one a to the fourth minus fourteen a cubed plus seven a squared. Now, the greatest common factor of those three terms, well, 7 divides into 21, 14, and 7. I think that's actually the largest number. So 7, and the smallest power we have is 2, so we're going to factor out a 7a squared as our greatest common factor. So 7a squared, parentheses, and here's where we'll do our dividing. 7a squared divided by 7a squared divided by 7a squared. So 21a to the fourth divided by 7a squared would be 3a squared. Negative 14a cubed divided by 7a squared would be minus 2a. And 7a squared divided by 7a squared is 1, so plus 1. So my answer is 7a squared, parentheses, 3a squared minus 2a plus 1, close parentheses. Part C, 20m to the fourth, or sorry, 20m to the fifth plus 10m to the fourth minus 15m cubed. Well, our greatest common factor, because this is already in standard form, number that divides into 20, 10, and 15, 5 definitely goes into those, and actually nothing bigger, so just 5. And the smallest exponent we have is Three, so this would be m cubed, so that our answer is 5m cubed, parentheses, make that readable, divide each one of those by 5m cubed, again it's not part of our answer but I want to think through that, 20m to the fifth divided by 5m cubed would be 4m squared, 10m to the fourth divided by 5m cubed would be 2, so plus 2m. Negative 15m cubed divided by 5m cubed would be minus 3. So our answer is 5m cubed, parentheses, 4m squared plus 2m minus 3. Now for part D, we have 18x cubed minus 12x squared plus 6x. Now all of those constants are divisible by 6. So our GCF will include a 6, and we ha they all have at least 1x, so 6x is our GCF. So 6x, and then in parentheses, dividing each one of those by 6x, I would get 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 as my factored form. All right, now the question comes up, what do we do if we have a negative common factor? Well, in example two, we have factor negative 8a cubed minus 16a squared plus 4a. And it, the rule of thumb here is that if the first term, the first or your leading coefficient, there we go, that's the word, 
If the leading coefficient is negative, we're going to make our GCF be a negative number. So GCF equals negative, and let's see, I have 8, 16, and 4. 4 is the largest number that goes into all three of those, so 4 and a, because that's the smallest exponent we have on a. So this would be negative 4a, and we're going to divide each of these by negative 4a. which results in 2a squared plus 4a minus 1. So negative 4a, parentheses, 2a squared plus 4a minus 1, close parentheses. That's our factored form. Right, example 3, factor, negative 2x squared plus 50. Well, our GCF is going to be negative because we have a negative 2x squared is a leading term, and 2 divides into 2 and 50, so negative 2, no x's in common. So this would be equal to negative 2 parentheses, and if I divide each of these by negative 2, that will give us an x squared minus 25. Now this actually factors more. We're going to cover that in another video in the same section. Now if the first coefficient is negative, the leading coefficient, Always factor out the, a, the negative common factor, even if it's just a negative one.